Tangent Wallet Setup Tutorial How to Activate and Secure It Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're looking for a secure and easy way to store your crypto, then you're in the right place. Today we're going to go ahead and show you step-by-step -step tutorial of the Tangent Wallet, one of the most trusted gold wallets on the market. Whether you just brought your Tangent card or are still considering it, this video will walk you through on how you can activate it, secure it, and understand all of its features. So let's dive right in. All of the mentioned tools are going to be on the description box below, so make sure to check it out. The first thing that we have to talk about is what is Tangem Wallet. Basically, before we begin this setup, let's understand what Tangem Wallet actually is. Tangem is a hardware wallet in the form of a physical card, similar to a credit card, that uses NFC or near-field communication to interact with your smartphone. It basically stores your private keys offline, meaning no internet exposure, which reduces the risk of hacking. Unlike traditional USB hardware wallet like Ledger or Trezor, Tangem does not require a cable or computer. It's basically a 100% mobile native. From there, let's talk about on what's in the box. When you receive your Tangem wallet, it typically comes with a two or three physical Tangem cards depending on the package that you choose, a simple user guide, and lastly, a QR code to download the Tangem application. Or you can just head over to the official website right here Click on the Get Tangent button and from there you will be able to check out or download their application. Basically, each card is identical and acts as a backup of the same wallet. You can access your funds using any of the cards, making it incredibly convenient and redundant. Now let's talk about setting up the Tangent application. Basically, you just want to download the application from the App Store or the Google Play Store. And from there, you then want to open up the application. Once inside the application, just click on the Create Wallet button. And from there, you then have to hold your first Tangem card to the back of your smartphone to go ahead and initiate the NFC scan. Now, in order for this to work, your phone must have the NFC feature enabled. If not, you can just navigate through your phone's settings and make sure that the NFC is enabled. Basically, the application will automatically generate a wallet address and key pair securely inside the card after scanning it with your mobile application right here. Known seed phrases is shown or stored anywhere. The private key never leaves the card, not even to your phone. Now the key point is, Tangem replaces the traditional 12 to 24 word seed phrase with multiple physical backup cards. From there, let's then talk about activating backup cards. Once your main card is activated, the application will prompt you to scan the backup cards. You can scan each backup card individually. Basically, once added, all of the cards are equal. You can use any one of them to access your wallet anytime. If you ever lose one card, you can still use another. If you lose all of them through your wallet, it's unrecoverable so you want to go ahead and store them safely. Now, let's talk about on how you can secure the wallet. Tangem takes a unique approach to wallet security. No password or PIN required unless you choose to enable one in the app's application. You can set up a passcode for the app access if you're concerned about physical phone theft. So, you can go ahead and use applications like AppLock to go ahead and lock your application increasing your security more. Basically, your cards are waterproof, tamper-resistant, and shockproof. Basically, for maximum security, you want to store your cards separately. Don't keep them all in the same place. You also want to enable biometric security like the fingerprint or face ID on your phone to go ahead and protect the app access. Now, how can you go ahead and receive and send crypto through your Tangem wallet right here. So let's go ahead and say that you have Robinhood or maybe something like a Coinbase account. Basically, all you have to do is to navigate through your Tangem application right here. 
select on the crypto asset that you want to receive on your Tangent Wallet. In our case, it's going to be Bitcoin. And basically inside that specific asset, you just want to click on the receive button. It's like any other tokens or softwares out there where you then have to copy your wallet address, paste it to the crypto bank or crypto wallet you're sending it from. And from there, you will be able to send it to your tangent wallet right here. Now, since the private key signs the transaction inside the card, no sensitive data touches your phone. From there, let's talk about the supported assets and networks. Tangem supports over 6,000 tokens across 30 plus blockchains, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polygon, Solana, Binance Smart Chain, and Avalanche, Tezos, and more. It's constantly being updated, so you want to check the application for the most recent least. Now, Let's talk about the Tangem Wallet Recovery Plan. Unlike traditional wallet with recovery phrases, Tangem uses a multi-card redundancy system. So if you selected two cards during setup, losing one means you're on your last backup. If you choose three cards, you can lose one and still be safe. You have no online recovery. You must have at least one functioning card. This makes Tangem immune to phishing attacks and cloud hacks. From there, let's talk about some pros and cons of Tangem. Now, a pro is that they are simple, mobile-friendly interface. They require no seed phrase to manage the card. It is highly secure with the NFC tag. And lastly, with the rugged design, they have water and damage resistant. Now the cons are going to be that cards cannot be replaced once they are all lost, limited desktop support, basically it's mobile only for now, and it may not feel as tacky for advanced users used to the full node integration. Now, I'll also discuss some best practices for Tangem users. To make the most out of your Tangem wallet, you always want to activate and test all backup cards immediately upon setup. You want to store your cards in a separate secure location. Do not expose them to extreme heat or strong magnets. You want to use the application's in-app token swap feature if supported. And lastly, you always want to keep your application updated to get the latest asset support. So that's everything you need to know. A full walkthrough on how you can set up, activate, and secure your Tangem wallet account. Once again, all of the mentioned tools are going to be on the description box below. So make sure to check it out. If this video has been helpful, leave a like, subscribe, and follow us for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.